Southwark Cathedral is the 12th century Gothic cathedral that is situated on the south bank of the River Thames, close to London Bridge. The churchyard on the south side of the cathedral is a favorite lunchtime resting place for local office workers. The cathedral had several renovations. The latest one was done by the architect George Gwilt in 1820. Typically, churches are facing east in order to get the rising sun in the morning. During the day, none of the buildings surrounding the cathedral are shading the building, therefore the daylight is always present in the structure and doesn't require artificial lighting during the day. Although there is enough of daylight, artificial lights such as uh, fake candles and chandeliers are used to highlight the religious icons. The smoke from the candles and incense diffuses the general light that comes from the windows, creating a gloomy yet calming atmosphere. Looking at evidences of solar control, it's easy to spot that there is much more of the mass than void. When trying to analyze the cathedral from outside, the first thing that you notice is that all the facades have a countless number of windows that are relatively small, which is a typical characteristic of English Gothic style. The positioning of the windows is a way of controlling the direction of light during the day. Most of the windows are filled with tinted glass that is put together into imagery that relates to stories from the Bible. As well as storytelling, the colors of the glass reflect with the light creating a specific atmosphere. The biggest window doesn't have any stained glass in it and is positioned next to the altar in order to give a direct light during the Sunday service. This was an intended design decision made by the architect in order to highlight the figure of the ceremony. All the modern elements, such as the south entrance of the cathedral, are affecting the light condition in the space, as the materials used are lightweight and translucent. The ceiling vaults are another source of light control, helping to spread the light as well as act acting as structural elements, and th they also reduce the gloominess of the space, as well as the passage arches that are used to amplify the sounds and direct the light in a specific manner. In fact, limestone was used in an economical way during the restoration. All the decorative columns were made hollow to use lice materials.